Kaspuro, we're gonna have a quick run through the Rebellion Sword bot in Devil May Cry. If you'd like an extended rant and such and so forth, head on over to FinalCospacore.com for more info on how to do that and awesomeness and such and so forth. Um, this is the second or third time, if I remember correctly, of making this sword. The first one was um, adhering to the four foot rule, so uh, the handle screwed off. But this one we want to have much more durability and it's going to have a PVC pipe run from tip to tip. If you'd like it to be a bit more durable, uh, we're going to try and put some uh, wood dowel in there because uh, the combination of PVC pipe and wood dowel is really good for supports and swords. Um, the blade itself is going to be made out of uh, silver plastic or uh, metallic plastic uh, along with uh, some other details such as the handle. Um, we're going to be cutting a slit in that to kind of fold it and put the double sided crease in there and we're going to be gluing them together. Once they're glued together we're going to be uh, jamming uh, the piece of pipe down the middle and filling that with resin. Make sure it's nice and sealed otherwise that resin is going to get out. <laughs> um, the mo most of the rest of the details are going to be uh, made out of XPS foam, the pink foam, the insulation foam, widely available in North America, uh, often has pink panther on it. Um, we're going to shave and carve out of just some basic tools such as a saw, a rat, rat rasp, and a sanding sponge. You don't need, really need much to work with it. Uh, but what you do need is definitely <laughs> a mask. Uh, you can see in the video I'm not wearing a mask and I assure you I paid for that. <laughs> um, the foam is soft, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a shell over it, a nice protective covering. It is going to be filled and smooth with plaster Paris. Then we're going to put some white glue over it to give it a bit more rigidity. And then for durability, um, some Mod Podge so that when it does take a hit it will have some flexibility too. Um, not just completely shatter and crack upon impact. <laughs> Uh, the skulls are actually just Halloween skulls I bought on sale at a ho Halloween store after the holidays. I'm going to be cutting out the parts and inserting some horns and I'm going to be gluing them onto the PVC pipe. Uh, it's going to be filled, or they are going to be filled I should say, with some more Plaster Paris with uh, was it white glue instead of uh, water for a bit more durability and then any kind of other gaps are going to be filled in with uh, hot glue there. Um, <clears throat> the handle is going to be what is going to be screwed on as so as not to go anywhere and we're going to prime it in black. Um, the primary color when you do paint work and metallics really heavily affect it and the metallic here is going to be silver. Uh, we're going to do our best to transition the foam work with the plastic work with the silver paint and again a wash. And that'll help clean that up to make sure that they don't kind of conflict in texture and light and color and stuff like that. Um, we are going to go and make the Mecha Chibi Wings next. Um, if you're interested in seeing more, again, check out FinalCosplayCore.com for more info and such and so forth. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Good times to all. Hurrah! For the extended version of this tutorial, go to finalcosmicore.com and check out the info there. Thanks for your support.